Matthew, welcome to Crawley Town. How excited are you to be here? Yeah, extremely excited. Um, really looking forward to the opportunity. It's a great opportunity for, for Simon and myself and uh, raring to go. And just talk us through the conversations that you've had with the owners, with Chris Galley and how the move came about for you. Yeah, I had really positive discussions with the owners over a period of time um, uh, and really healthy discussions with them in terms of um, the playing squad, uh, the style of play, etc. Um, and, and we've come to this point, met, met Chris uh, briefly a couple of days ago, um, and y you can see this club set up uh, to be successful with what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm um, extremely pleased to be a part of it, and uh, like I said, really looking forward to what's ahead. Yeah, and you bring with you an assistant, obviously Simon Davies, who sat with us too as well as you, a wealth of, of top flight playing experience, and he was with you at Peterborough too. What's your experience and your partnership like with Simon? We've known each other since we were 11, so there's that. Uh, obviously we're really close friends, but first and foremost, size more important than anything to me, a really good person, but secondly, he's a very, very good coach, and, and I've seen that since we've been working at Peterborough together, uh, where we've been very successful, got numerous players into the first team, um, alongside other people, because there's really good people that work within the academy there. Um, and for some reason, I can't tell you why, we always seem, seem to do things together. We've had moves together as well, but it's just the way it is. But like I said, he's a very, very good coach, and um, I'm sure the players will really want to him. Yeah, and you come here from Peterborough, the under-23 team. Just talk us through your time there and how it sort of developed you in your coaching too. Yes, it's ironic really how life can throw things at you and it can turn full circle somewhat. Started my playing career at Peterborough and obviously started my coaching career there as well. And the initial two or three seasons were really, really successful. We did things within the um, under-18 side that hadn't happened um, previously. Um, like I said, numerous players in the first team and we dipped our toe into, in and around the, the first team set up as well. Um, we were in and around it when the, the team got promotion from League One and obviously last season in the championship as well. So we've got experience. Um, I feel like we're ready. In fact, I know that, I, that we're ready and, uh, uh, like I said, really looking forward to it. We know how much you impressed the owners, maybe your play style. Could you sort of talk through a little bit about your philosophy and how you like to play? Uh, for me, the biggest thing within coaching is clarity, clarity of message, consistency of message, um, and, and creating a culture where the players are only happy and, and they want to come into work every morning and training is decent, the way people are, the way people speak to each other, is those, those kind of things, those values are, are, are really, really important to me, that humbleness and um, uh, in terms of the playing style, attacking goals, that's the biggest thing, scoring goals um, uh, and creating chances uh, consistently. I think if you get that right alongside a lot of other stuff but um, get that right at the top end of the pitch you've always got a chance. And we know Family is everything too. It's great to see your family here today. How big has it been for the family? Also, you are you local? Where are you based? Is it is it a, a, a place you might eventually want to move, or is it a good commute for you? Yeah, so we live in Essex, um, me and my family, and um, yeah, so the, the journey is not that bad, and, and we will be obviously staying down here quite a lot as well. Um, but yeah, family massively important to me and and, and to Simon as well. So. Um, great to have them here today, great for, for, for our kids to see the pitch, have some pictures taken, they'll remember those moments. And obviously Crawley Town, the club itself, how much do you sort of know about the club and have you been keeping an eye on Crawley for a certain amount of time? I don't know how long everything's been in the works for. Yeah, so I have um, spoke to the, to the owners um, for, for quite a few months now and um, yeah, so I've always had an eye on Crawley and I've watched now plenty of games. So, you know, me and Si have spoken length at, about where, where we feel like things need to, to improve and be better, and that's what we'll be looking to implement. But in terms of the team and the playing squad here, there's a playing squad for me that are in a false position. They should be higher up the league, and for whatever reason, um, they're not doing that at the minute. So uh, that'll be our main objective straight away, is to, is to get the team up the league. Yeah, an exciting time for you to come in too. We've got the brand new uh, Southwater training ground. We only moved in, I think, a week or two ago. And you'll be going to see that soon, I think, after this interview. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going to pop along. It's getting dark in a minute. So, um, yeah, go and see that. Uh, another forward step for the club. And from speaking to the owners over the last few months, they only want good things for Crawley Town. And I think that's really, really apparent. Um, they, they want the best for this football club and, and for the community here. 
and um, they're, they're trying to provide that step by step but um, they're, they're trying to provide it and I think they're really really intelligent people that, that, um, that, that really impress me. Yeah, and there was that massive debate we had was the whole training on grass concept the players really wanted to train on grass as an ex-pro yourself playing at the top level is that a big difference for a pro player it is yeah obviously i'm a big believer in adaptability but in terms of um grass pitches is, is vital i think especially when the, i come towards the end of my career if i was training on um, harder surfaces you can still get really really good surfaces that are artificial but that, that, that grass um, concept in terms of relating it to a match day and, and, you've, and you've got the same kind of uh, uh, give underneath you etc is really really important and um, it, I do think it takes less less strain on your body as well. Yeah and yourself and Simon will be meeting the first team tomorrow how excited are you for that? Yeah, extremely excited extremely excited to get on the grass uh, address them all and get to work. A uh, big game on Saturday against a very good Swindon side. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to tomorrow and um, to get working. Yeah, and in terms of sort of crossovers, I don't think you were familiar with any of the players before, obviously recently. But what is your familiarity with the team now? In terms of in in terms of uh, the players we have, we've watched recently. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so in terms of the players, like I said, I've watched a lot of games. So, I, I like to think that I've got a good handle on where I think they're at. Um, and th th like I said, there's some there's some ability in this team. There's no doubt in that. Obviously, I think uh, the team and, and the previous management have been unlucky with injuries, etc. So I'll have a look at a, a closer look at that when we get in. But um, yeah, th th there's more than enough here already um, to, to push up that league. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And with the support of the supporters as well, um, the backing of them, um, I I'm sure we'll be fine. And finally, I'm sure you'll be familiar to many Crawley fans, but in terms of your playing career, you've had an amazing career at the top level. Can you just sort of describe the clubs you played for and, and your development as a player? Yeah, so I obviously started out at Peterborough United, then, then Simon bought uh, Simon, Tottenham bought Simon and myself, um, and, and we went there. I was there for three and a half years, so I was there for a bit longer. Then I moved to West Ham, and I had five and a half outstanding years there. Loved the club, loved everything about it, um, and uh, yeah, was successful kind of peered away a little bit towards the end and then got the move to Stoke again another five and a half years there uh, at both clubs FA Cup finals playing in Europe so just outstanding memories and memories that will li live with me for forever really. Well Matthew as you said it's getting dark we'll get you down to Southwater so you can see that with a bit of light and um, we're delighted to have you here at Crawley welcome. Pleasure thank you. Thank you.